Hello everyone, Shiny of Shiny and Charlie here. Charlie's not with us today. I have to my left um, my friend EB. I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit about his channel. Channel is the channel you should go to. The uh, the link is gonna be in the subscription, hopefully. Maybe. <laughs> go check out his channel. He mm -hmm. has an amazing channel and he likes to pull my hair for some reason. And... Because it's natural. I couldn't do that if it was weed. <laughs> as, soon as, I, as soon as I put my arms there, you... <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> so um, I want to have him on the channel today because I want to talk about natural hair. And the reason I wanted to talk about this is I want to get a black man's perspective on natural hair. And I'm just going to be asking him a few questions. Um, this is actually going to be a series of videos with different men. And I'm going to talk about my experience. He's going to talk about his experience. And we're just going to kind of try to share our thoughts and kind of pick his brain on his thoughts about it. So, first thing, what do you think of natural hair? I love it. Wow. I love natural hair <clears throat> because it's real. Um, I said this before to you before, but I like, I'm a... I'm a fan of real things. I like, I like my food real. I don't like processed food. I like my, my food real. You like pizza. I like my, my conversation. I love pizza though. <laughs> I like my conversation real. I don't like fake people. I like real people, real food, real women, real hair. And I'm just a fan, that's all. Nothing have, more, nothing less. Have you always been a fan of natural hair? No. So I grew up in a suburban... I grew up in Virginia Beach, and it's a beach town, so I went to a elementary school that was full of white women. So my first crushes were white women with blonde hair, brown hair, whatever. So that's all I knew as far as what beauty was. And I remember, but my first girlfriend, though, was a black girl. The, the only black girl that came into the town, she ended up being my girlfriend, and I loved everything about it. That's the thing. You know, it all comes back to home. And she had natural hair and she was gorgeous to me too. So, but mostly no, it, it didn't start that way. Mostly, you know, all my teachers were white women. You know, the, my crushes were white women. So that's all I saw on TV as far as, you know, beauty uh, were white women. Baywatch, I remember that. I don't know why I say by the bell. Okay, so speaking of say about a bell, Lisa Turtle, that wasn't beautiful to you? So Lisa Turtle, she was beautiful to me. The thing is, the way they wrote her in the show, they made it so she's not supposed to be beautiful to me. Like her love interest was the, the least charismatic, the, le the, like the most uncool person in the show, which was Screech. Mm -hmm. He was funny, but... He's more like we're laughing at him, not with him. And that was her love interest. And she's bad. She's the baddest chick. Well, maybe the baddest black chick. She should have had the top notch dudes. But all we saw was the lamest of the lame mm -hmm. going after her. So in my eyes as a kid or whatever, I'm looking at her like, I'm not Screech. Therefore, I'm not supposed to like her. You see what I'm saying? Gotcha. And to you in your eyes. It are some textures of natural hair more acceptable than others? Hmm. So when you say textures, you mean how they feel? Um, I am talking to the guy here, so I can't do the four three C's. Because I don't feel a lot of black women here. Masande's hair texture. Texture. Masande. Danny's curly hair. Yes. As opposed to, let's see, Napita's heritage. Well, aesthetically, not to me, but in society, I can see how, I think her name is Melisandre. No, is that's it? the witch. Oh, my bad, my bad. Her name is Masande. I mean, I guess the more, the closer that you can get to white women hair, I guess the more acceptable it is. Lapita is just straight up African hair. I mean, it don't get more African than that. The thing is, she pulls it off because she's a beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. And her hair is a part of her. Uh, I don't think society is used to it, 
but so yes, you're right. Her, her, Lupita's hair or African hair, like at its really rare, um, what's the word? Uh, natural state. It's natural state. It's probably the least accepted. So I've been watching like a lot of YouTube videos. <laughs> I watched like a lot of YouTube videos where people with natural hair have been saying like people who get relaxers and that um, get weaves or whatever they um, it's a form of self hate and they're not secure with themselves. So how do you feel about that? I feel like more times than not, it is not. Maybe self hate is a little strong, but it's just they're just trying to be accepted mm -hmm. in society, in American society. Um, there are some women who do it just as um, convenience, not convenience, but like uh, to enhance their look, just like the same way I wear a gold chain or something like that, just to enhance the overall look. But more times than not, in this country, I feel like a lot of women do it to be accepted. You know, Lupita, Lupita Nyong'o, whatever. Her her hair is not the standard of beauty in this country. Um, European hair is. So, the same shows that I watch as a kid, thinking that as a kid, thinking that Kelly Kapowski, the white girl, that's the hot one, and whatever makes her hot, is the same thing that a girl watches. Oh. Only she's looking at it in, in terms of, I should strive to look like that. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So, I think it's just more of acceptance. You know, it's just you know how some people say like, not natural isn't for everyone. Yeah. Not all people should go natural. Do okay. you feel the same way? Like some people just shouldn't, just like permanent. Just, should, should just go with the perm, perm whatever. Permanent look. Um. Uh, I guess that's like saying some some women can't pull it off. Mm -hmm. But I, me personally, no, I don't. To say that some women shouldn't go natural is that's like saying some people shouldn't just be themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should always be them, be yourself. Now, I'm not I'm not naive. There are some women that can pull it off better than others. You know, at the end of the day, it's a look. At mm -hmm. the end of the day, it's a style, and some women look better than others. I mean, that's, that's the truth of the matter. So, um, as a woman, I feel like know, know what makes you look the best. Whatever makes you feel the best, do that. That's all, that's all I would say. Because uh, when, what? When you look good, you feel good. So true. So. I agree, because there was a girl that came to my job the other day, and she had like a haircut like yours, just natural, and it was beautiful. I knew I couldn't pull it off because I got a big head. But <laughs> <laughs> I knew I couldn't pull it off. But it was, she looked like this, when she walked in the door, just like, man, she is beautiful. But mm -hmm. you see some people with that and you like, you know, so yeah. that is true. It depends on, you know, person from person to person. Yeah. Person to person, whatever. Um, and, and also, a lot of times it's about attitude. Sometimes, you know, when you, you can pull it off if you emote that mm -hmm. you know that I'm rocking confidence. it exactly mm -hmm. I'm here I'm rocking this I think it's fly and when you when you put when you uh, present it like that people look at you like okay it is fly <laughs> you know yeah. a lot of times you tell people what to think yeah. if you're like reserved so I tell you what to think. And yeah okay I've heard black men say that natural hair is ugly makes a woman ugly Hair, and you know they'll say things like, you know, hair makes a woman. To a certain extent, that is, that is true. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think that comes from when they just say, you know, in general, natural hair is ugly? So, a lot of times I feel like people, black people in this country, America, we see things through the oppressor's eyes. So, you know, if the narrative that's given by the oppressor or the, uh, the 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 people in charge or whatever, if they're saying that white women's or European hair is, is beautiful, black women hair is not, and that's the narrative that they push upon people 
day in and day out through movies, through shows, and basically everything, magazines, everything. Um, a lot of times as uh, members of this society will start to view things through their eyes. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like um, how you will, you'll look at a black business and a white business and you'll automatically kind of assume that the black business is inferior. Mm -hmm. That's looking through the oppressor's eyes. It's, it's, a, it's a psychological thing that's going, going on. So yeah, I mean, whereas if, they were, if we were growing up in, with nothing but black women around, we'd never even seen a European woman. Of course, that would be beautiful to us. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Because it shapes, it's, it's all in the mind, to me. It's all in the mind. It's just mind games. Advertising, mind games. 24-7. Yes, indeed. And just to share my experience, and I've told you about this before. Yeah. Is I date interracially as well. She does. <laughs> and I have more white guys compliment my hair than mm. black guys compliment my hair. Mm -hmm. Like, the only time I really get most black guys' attention, like just saying, if I'm at work, the most time I get their attention is when I get up and go to the fax machine. After I sit back down, they're like, yeah, and you know why, you know. And But with a white guy, he will see me, I'm sitting at my desk, and he will compliment my hair. Compliment me. Mm. And, you know, I'm just like, What's up with that? It should be the other way around. Well, let me give my thoughts on that. I feel like, for one, a lot of white guys, they view black women as some, like an exotic type of thing. Some, sometimes it, it goes into the point of a fetish. But for the most part, they're not trying to wife up. Just, no, let me not say that. Because sometimes they do. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put it this way. <laughs> Scratch that. Because they are. They do sometimes wipe them up. But it's just a different... Um, it's like, why? Why do they like a black woman? I mean, a black woman is the most beautiful woman in the world. To me. So, the beauty is there. Hmm. I'm not going to sit here on this, on this camera and pretend like I know everything or... I understand everything because sometimes I don't, mm -hmm. and this is one of those instances where the only the only thing I can make sense of it is like it's like a exotic thing to me. The same way that a black black women love Brazilians or even white women. A lot of black guys love white women because it's exotic. You know, it's different, right? Well, I asked someone else that question, and they said it was like a master slave mentality. Yeah, I can see and that. And that was just kind of like. Dang, you know, but... I mean, even in slave days, white men have always been sexually attracted to black women mm -hmm. since day one. Um, it's just that the, the dynamic of the relationship is, it's very... I know interracial couples where when they argue, a lot of times the white guy, they're starting to get derogatory mm -hmm. towards the black woman. And that just goes to show the nature. It's of, in there. Yeah, Exactly. That guy real. <laughs> real. Alright, so natural hair movement. Do you think it's like a statement of empowerment or is it a trend right now? A trend. Well, right now we're viewing we're uh, recording this at a time where Black Panther, the movie from Marvel, pretty much just came out two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people that are, you know, doing this whole afro what is it what's the word? Afro centric Afrocentric. Centric thing where they're kind of embracing their African heritage. Mm -hmm. So it is a trend. A lot of times when, you know, the, the natural hair thing, it is a trend. Even my little sister was like, I'm going natural, like a, a while ago. But it can be a trend. But I think that anything that allows you to be who you are in a natural state, I mean, take the word natural. The natural state. That means before you enhance it, before, this, this is your state of being. Mm -hmm. Be who you are. I'm all for that. I'm all for that. If everybody from even Asians, black, Latino, white, if everybody was always who they are, I think the diversity play would be even better. You know, I always take it back to the garden, the, 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 the metaphor or the analogy of a garden. I like 
daffodils, I like roses, I like all these different kinds of plants, flowers, vegetables, whatever. Make the garden different. That's the most beautiful garden there is. So that's all. That's all I'm saying. Too many people go go to trends. Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny that to see all these people with this natural hair, these afros, and everything. Because I remember when I first went natural, it was like 2002, I believe, and it wasn't even called going natural then. It's just I wore braids all the time. Like, what's the point of getting a relaxer if you're gonna wear braids all the time? And so eventually, I just I moved to Macon. I started wearing my natural hair. And I remember I was working at this company at this time. And I remember the first time I wore my hair, it was a supervisor and someone else, they were like laughing at me. And I knew they were laughing. You know when someone's laughing at you. You know what I'm saying? You know when someone's laughing at you. Mm -hmm. And they were laughing at me. And I'm like, okay, I got on the same clothes. I've worn this outfit before, worn these shoes before. The only thing that's different about me is my hair. And so it was comical to them. And I was known as the girl with the afro. If anyone saw my name, on a dispatch, well, um, if anyone saw my name on a document and they needed to find me, they would go go to my supervisor and I would always hear him say, she's the one with the afro. You know, so it wasn't a, a why, just to let you know, and this was in 2007 when I started working at this company. Yeah. And just to let you know that it wasn't a, a big thing where I can be singled out. You know how big it is out there. Yeah. I can be singled out by saying the one with the afro. But now just to see it everywhere and some of the same people that try to convince me to relax my hair, they're natural now. Yeah. You know, and it, it's just, it's, it's good to see it, but it's funny to see it at the same yeah. time, you know, because it's like when more and more people start to do it, you know, yeah. those same people, they decide to jump on that bandwagon. Yeah. And um, I think that's what it is with a lot of um, people who have natural hair. I believe it's, it's something deep for some people is something real for some people but other people it's like everyone else is doing it so let me do it too yeah and the same thing um is like when i first locked my hair i went through even more when i first locked my hair um you lockers out there you know that you go through that ugly stage and so people ask so are you really gonna let your hair just lock are you it was just and these were natural people and that's what i couldn't understand a lot of loose natural people try to convince me not to lock my hair and you know locking your hair is one of the most natural states you can have your hair in you're not combing it you're not really doing anything to it but it's just crazy to just see it and how many people it's, it's good to see how many people actually embrace it and my, my, my thing is like if it's you it's, it's really you you're born with hair or whatever and this is your natural hair how can that be how can you laugh at that that's my thing but as black people, a lot of things we make, we make things in America cool, mm -hmm. right? And the thing about a natural black woman's hair is you can't mimic that. You can't, I mean, I guess white women can if they really wanted to, okay. but it doesn't look right. Rachel, I mean, Rachel with Darcel. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. But the thing is, it's like, this is who you are. This is your natural state. This is who you are. I mean, it's like getting contacts, right? It's, it might look exotic or whatever, but it's not real. And people know it's not real. My aunt is like this color. Love it. Love but it. she got these bluish grayish color eyes. Ooh. She is just the Auntie. most beautiful black woman I've ever seen before. So it's not always just, you know, you see crazy color eyes. Sometimes it's and real. That, and that melanin be popping. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they say like natural hair isn't professional. Mm. And I get that. I got that a lot. Um, when I first lost my job, it was right after I, my old job. It was right after I locked my hair. I was still in that transition stage. And everyone kept telling me, you're not going to be able to find a job with, with dreads in your head. So what I would do is I would, you know, pin it up where you couldn't really tell it before it was locked. So either I would do something like this. Where you really couldn't tell that it was locked to so take the attention yeah. away from it. Yeah. Um, and people consider natural hair, especially locks, as not being professional. Do you feel that way? Or can you see how or why someone may say that? So, it's, too, it's, it's like a double-edged sword. Because mm -hmm. one, it is a cultural thing. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times when you go to these jobs that are run by basically white 
by people. Um, it's their culture. So you kind of have to assimilate or adapt to their culture to get in the door. But I even know white people who do the same thing. I, I used to work at a company called Kubota. It's a tech company. And um, there was this guy, uh, and he he looks like, he's like he has a full beard, long hair, like, like a rocker type of guy, right? Mm -hmm. He's doing tech. But then when he showed me his badge, he looked like a clean cut. He shaved it all off, yada, yada, yada. And I was like, yo, you look totally different. I was like, yeah, that was, you know, for the interview. So there is... At some point, you do have to kind of uh, work the system. Yeah. But more so, it is culturally biased because even, I know we're talking about women a lot, but even men, like, when they have dreads, um, a lot of times they look at a certain way and, you know, it's hard. I, I feel like it's harder for a guy with dreads, dreadlocks, that to get into corporate America where, where if you don't. Because, you know... Any per any person that identifies with black or has that black identity and is proud of it is kind of a threat mm -hmm. to corporate America. Um, there's not even too many strong, and, I, and I'm talking about the men right now. There's not too many strong heterosexual black men um, in executive positions in corporate America because that's too much of a threat. Mm -hmm. Not to veer off, but why? Because a person who's strong like that, a black guy, um, a lot of women check for that guy, white women included. White men know this, so they, they, they don't want that in the workplace. They, they, don't, they want homosexual black men or just or weak uh, men because um, they're not a threat. Now, now, I don't want to get too deep, but that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother thing. Um, you just in a mouthful there, man. I, I, hey, but, it's, but it's the truth. Man, because if you look at Hollywood and then you know all the executive positions, a lot of the the top tier black men in Hollywood, you know they they're kind of moist. You know, you know, let's just be real. Um, but the place where I used to work, that is it. Yeah, majority of them are not heterosexual yeah. strong black men. You yeah. may see one or two, you know, but when you even looking at the supervisor ros rosters. Mm -hmm. Just picking out the males. Yeah. Three out of five of them yeah. are homosexual. Yeah. Exactly. Because you know the black man is one is a. I like to say. I like to think. They're universally accepted. Asian women love black men. White women love black men. Black women love. Everybody loves the black man. You see what I'm saying? I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Except for. So all together, well, uh, let me just finish with saying this. I feel like women, you should, if you want to go natural, go natural. There's nothing more sexy to me than a person that's being themselves. There's too many fakeness in the world to me, and it's refreshing when somebody's being themselves. Whether that's through their personality, you know, their talents or whatever, their look, that's included too. Be yourself. You know, it's not... We don't have enough people being themselves, whether that's your natural state or whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do, do it and be proud of it. Embrace it. And if you do it like that, and if you're proud and confident, then the people who view you, they're going to eventually like it too. Well, I mean, he didn't came and took over my channel. <laughs> 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 and stole all my subscribers out too. But um <laughs> nah, <all laughs> Thank you so much guys I'm for one watching. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's even worse. <laughs> anyway. Thank you so much guys for watching and that's it. <laughs> Alright guys, well, thank you so much. Remember to like and subscribe and go check out his channel. He has an amazing channel. Um there's some real talk on his channel. Um Maybe one day you'll see a video of me on this channel, but I ain't gonna put that. Yeah, way. she's on there. She's definitely <laughs> on there. Thank you so much, guys. Remember to comment. Let us know how you did. Any other topics you want us to collab on? Just let us know in the comments, and just Google -loo. just YouTube Eddie Bryce and the, the so one more time. Do that to the loop. To the loop. All right, later. <laughs>